A Baldwin County couple is behind bars tonight after an investigation for a fake ID turns into something much bigger and potentially more dangerous for an entire neighborhood. News 5's Debbie Williams joins us now live on the Baldwin County Beat. And Debbie, investigators say this could have been a very bad situation. Certainly could. You know, a working meth lab is dangerous in any situation, but authorities say this particular one put a whole Bon Secours neighborhood at risk. A small brick house in a Bon Secours neighborhood off Piney Woods Road, where investigators found what they suspected. Meth lab that was fully functional and operational and was in service. Brett Harkins and Mary Giovanello are now in the Baldwin County Jail on various drug charges, including trafficking and methamphetamine. It was a purchase by Giovanello that tipped authorities off. We have a case where somebody's using someone else's identity to increase the number of ephedrine they can go and purchase. A meth lab to the uneducated eye just looks like a bunch of bottles and hoses. Usually there's a heat source nearby, but one wrong move and it could all explode. Anytime you have a meth lab operating in your neighborhood, it is a grave concern to everyone involved, and yes, there is always a potential for danger. It's a drug that doesn't grab headlines like it once did, but it's still out there and just as dangerous and deadly as it ever was. It's harder and harder to manufacture methamphetamine yourself, so we don't see it as often, but we still see it. Harkins and Giovanello are in the Baldwin County Jail tonight. They both have bonds of more than $100,000. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.